Monica Mangan, the designer behind East Coast Creative and eastcoastcreativeblog.com. And today I'm helping my friend Desiree Hartsock redo her entire home office. I'm Desiree Hartsock. Um, you may know me from Bachelorette 9. But I am also a wedding dress designer and I run a blog, uh, DesireHeartsock.com. And I really need help for my home office because it's lacking inspiration and I just really need help. So I headed to the West Coast where Desiree lives in Seattle and the first thing I noticed about her office is that it was really heavy and dark. I knew that my biggest goal for the room would be to lighten and brighten but I also wanted to create a space that would inspire her in all her different creative endeavors. So we have to make a really big and quick trip. So I'll focus on paint colors and grabbing all the paint. Do you want to get the building material? Sure. Feel like we got everything we need? Yeah, I think we're all set. I think the volunteers we have are awesome today. Yeah, yeah this will be great. It's crazy what we can do with like a good team of volunteers in just a few hours. Alright, so what I want to do is we have all of our building materials, we have all of our paint and all of our DIY projects planned. So I think we're going to leave the volunteers to kind of finish up the painting that we started. But I want to shop with you okay. to kind of be able to choose some items that will be just perfect for your personality, maybe reflect a little bit of local Seattle and Washington, and I really want to infuse a bit of you into the space. Cool, I like it. <laughs> Look at this bag. Do you feel inspired by these? I do. Okay, good. We finished up our shopping trip and the Lowe's volunteers did an awesome job painting and getting the room ready for all of our DIY projects that we were going to start the next day. Day two is all about the DIY. I had tons of projects planned and was excited for us to really start transforming this space. We have a really neutral space now, which is great, but we want to start layering things in. Okay. So we're going to do that with wallpaper. Let me show it to you. Okay. See what you think. Ta -da! And the coolest part of all, it's actually peel and stick repositionable. I let Des lend a hand with the wallpaper, but I wanted to surprise her by installing an electric fireplace that would bring in some Southern California warmth. Desiree's closet was missing doors, so I planned to add some, but I wasn't going to let them just be plain Jane average doors. I have something way more colorful up my sleeve. We're gonna be using some really thin wood, okay. and we're gonna cut it into triangle shapes, and then I'm gonna be using them on the door. So now we're gonna paint these a variety of colors from okay. the palette, and that's about all I'm gonna tell you. Good. I had Desiree work on a crafty clock project while we got started on building a custom shelving unit that can also double as a standing workstation. Sometimes projects are fully planned ahead of time, but other times you have to kind of see the space and design on the fly. Day two is a success. We got all of our big projects out of the way and I was super pumped to reveal this space the next morning. There were a few finishing touches to put in the office before the big reveal. I styled the accessories, finished up the closet doors, and added a custom paint treatment to the accent wall, and we were good to go. Oh my, oh my gosh. I didn't even know you could do this to the small of a space. <laughs> that is so cool. That's what you helped me cut. Oh my gosh. What? A fireplace? <laughs> I was waiting for you to notice. Oh my gosh. So I said we'd bring some warmth from sunny Oh calcium. my gosh. It feels so homey that like people will think that they're here with me. And I feel like just some, a little bit of the tribal yeah. patterns and a lot of the pillows that we shopped for. Yeah. It kind of reflects you a lot more than before. I don't, I don't even know where to begin. I love it all. Yeah.